Ooh, Wow, that's crazy. So <clears throat> I wanted to separate you guys to get a more in-depth session. Uh, so tell me, why do you love Lonnie? Um, well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so what is it that you love about TK? She got a fat ass. I'm talking wagon, wagon, what you dragging? <laughs> I mean, his stroke game is pretty superior. I mean, like he got this curve that goes to the left. They always get a bitch right. Man, you can appreciate a good curve, can't you? Hmm? Or, or not. Okay. <clears throat> that was a physical attribute. Let's talk about something a little less non-physical. Oh, well, okay. Uh, name something other than the fact that she got a fat ass. Uh, Oh, she got some good roast beef. What? Pussy. Why the fuck? <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, sorry about that. Something in my throat. Uh, why, why would you refer to it as roast beef? Because if you turn your head to the side, vagina kind of looks like roast beef being laid on a bun. Okay, other than the physical, is there anything else that you love about your spouse? Oh. <laughs> Definitely, like there's, there's a ton of things I can think of. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me hear it. Uh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, 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 that's all the stuff I love. Like, like if there was a bag of love, I could like dig in it and it would be like so much love that I wouldn't even be able to mention it. Like that's how much love, you know? <laughs> oh my God, y'all killing me. Okay, um, okay. Let, let's try something different. Let's just scrap that. Let's try some, tell me something you don't like about your partner. We, we went over that with the other therapist already. Do I look like the other therapist? I didn't think so. Continue. Before we dive into that, uh, <clears throat> would you like some water or something to drink? Because I'm gonna get some tequila. I've been checking out that bottle. It's really cute and I'm just gonna, gonna help myself. This is my house. Shouldn't I be getting the water? See, that's your damn problem. That's your problem right there. Let a man be a man, goddamn. I mean, ma'am. Excuse me? Yeah, that's right, I said it. The boy nervous. You said yourself, you knocked a nigga out for him, right? Uh, that was for me. Either way, a nigga was knocked out by your doing in his presence. <sighs> so you saying, she had yeeks for weeks, right? Yeah, <laughs> she did have some bubble on that back. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't think you should talk about her that way. What? You, 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 shouldn't, you shouldn't talk about her like that way. Like, don't you think that's just like a, a little bit rude? Rude? I tell you what's rude. Your baby mama dropping your kids off at your house on poker night, knowing it's damn poker night. You know what I'm saying? And then I can't hear you no way. Over there whispering, speak up. Over there sound like Mighty Mouse. Over there shit. Baby mama, I don't understand that. It's, um, Say something, nigga! Don't talk about my woman that way. Please? Damn, dog. You might be a lost cause. TK, I want to thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Being very transparent, being very upfront with me, and just being real, real truthful. It's been really helpful, okay? So let's just dive right into it. I want you to tell me what is it that you don't like about your spouse? Hmm. Well, for starters, he's so damn mischievous. Like, he's always up to some shit. Always on the game and can't never spend time with me. She's insecure. Like, I can't do anything without her tying it to a bitch. Like, nigga, have you ever been accused of cheating because you like to eat ranch and fries? And he's a damn pushover. Like, he can't be a man. He can't never speak up for himself. You know, like, damn, throw me around, slap me, push me. But don't be disrespectful. You feel me? <laughs> but anyways, like damn, I just I just want him to be in charge. Like take charge. Like just be a man. I just want him to be a man. So he's a coward. So she's super aggressive and will chew your ass out over anything she don't like. So you think she's a bitch? Coward? Whoa. Who said my nigga was a coward? Ain't nothing about him coward. He's just soft spoken, but he's the most genuine person I know. I love him with his gentle self. Bitch. Whoa, whoa, she ain't no bitch. She passionate and she stick up for those that she cares about. Like, that's what I love about her because she possessive and like, 
She's willing to speak her mind. He brings the calm to my storm. She brings the fire to my ice. He's the lube to my condom. So if she a bitch, she my bitch. That was really cute. But a bitch is a bitch. Uh, that, that was, that was, that was cute. But that nigga sound like a pussy to me. I said, don't talk about my woman that way. She a boss and bosses do what they gotta do. She a little crazy, but that kind of intrigued me a little bit. I told you that he's just got a good heart, okay? He's soft-spoken because he was sheltered as a baby. She not no bitch. Well, she my bitch. You feel me? My bitch. All day mine. You understand? But that don't mean nothing. You know? Shit. I love him. So don't say it again, otherwise we're gonna have some real problems on our hands. I go hard for mine. Now if you call my man a pussy one more time, I'm gonna pussy my foot up your ass. Try me. So I've decided after talking to both of y'all, it's a real simple thing that I can use to describe y'all. Y'all crazy as fuck, okay? Y'all crazy, y'all some crazy motherfuckers. Y'all wasting my time. I ain't got time for this shit. Y'all crazy, y'all deserve each other. Y'all should just be together. But y'all just like my crazy ass baby mama, dog. Just like her, dog. Not again. No, hit me out. Hit me out. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Everything was going good. You know what I'm saying? Everything was just going real damn good. You know what happened? You know, it was real good until she fucked the mailman, dog. The mailman, dog? That's, that's the nigga, he take care of my personal stuff. She had sex with our mailman. The mailman's my nigga, dog. He, des he deliver all my personal shit. He gonna put his package in my girl package. He put his package in my girl package. She talking about he oh. had better benefits than me. <clears throat> Bitch, I am the motherfucking benefit. I'm a benefit, ho. I'm a benefit for these hoes. Y'all feel me? Y'all niggas ain't feeling me because y'all ain't saying shit. Y'all ain't writing no notes. You ain't got no fucking notepad, Lonnie. Where your notepad at? I took notes on your shit. You know what I'm saying? Lonnie, write this shit down. Y'all selfish as fuck, man. You know what? I'm gonna just call right now, man. I'm gonna call my baby mama's mama and tell her, you know, to pick up the kids so me and her can talk about some stuff. You know what I'm saying? I wanna talk to her about some serious stuff. For the next task that y'all need, y'all y'all go do some shit for y'all. Go do some cool personal shit like. Like walk, like walk. Black people don't walk no more. Just go out there, hold hands and walk. A little brisk walk. Well, that's how I see two black people in the hood, just walking. You know what I'm saying? So do that for Valentine's Day, man. Celebrate and don't forget to give me my damn cash app. Dr. Rod Fixes. And then you know what? I'll be back next week, man. I'm coming baby mama. Hold on. Hey, Alicia, what that nigga got that I ain't got besides a goddamn mail truck? Oh yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Nah, 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 I'm not sending you no money for the kids. That point fee ain't going that fast. You better take that child support check. You better take that child support check. You better take that child support check. I ain't, I'm not sending him no more shoes. So you love me? Yeah, you love me? Yeah. You want to do something for Valentine's Day tomorrow? Mm-hmm. That'd be nice. Okay. Hmm. What movie you want to watch? Booty Tales Live. You want to watch porn? You nasty. <laughs> That's crazy. Man, fuck you! You know what? You want to go to Daddy Buses? Hmm? Hmm? I'm not taking your mom with us. Last time I took your mom with us, it was a whole situation. She hit me in my eye. Don't forget to catch at me, guys. The Dr. Rod Fixes. Dr. Rod Fixes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on the way. Damn. Okay.